Hey guys, welcome to the stream. We're actually live now. Um, and I just had to make sure that my cat actually had some food. Uh, Ron, you're saying something about you wanted to do something with crypto? You're going to build an intro to a guy, is that correct? Can you guys hear me, by the way? Is that music too loud? I think it is. Right, well, we'll be looking at... Um, last time I did this stream, uh, someone was talking about why I didn't use auto drive uh, alongside cosplay. So I figured why not make a stream about that. I haven't actually used auto drive before. Hang on a second, I need to turn this music way down. It's far too loud, I can't hear anything. There we go, I can actually hear myself now. All right, uh, so how are you guys? Are you there? Hello, anyone? Anyone? Hello? <laughs> ah, that's good. Hi, Emil. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the chat, by the way. I don't think I actually said uh, a proper welcome to all of you. Uh, I haven't had a look at Autodrive yet. I still don't know enough about it to actually, um, well, to actually do anything in it. I've, I've, I downloaded it yesterday and I installed it and um, it seemed to be doing okay. I just got my head around, uh, just got my head around uh, the basic of it, how to actually record a course. So today is a brand new start. We'll be looking into how things are. Oh, Jonathan, that's really cool. Um, are you playing on a PlayStation or is it an Xbox? Hey, Tony, welcome to the stream. Uh, you have to excuse me if I'm a little bit slow on the chat today. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a noob at this streaming stuff. Uh, so I haven't actually got the chat up. I'm watching the stream alongside with you on another monitor because that's how good I am at this. Oh, it's a PS4. How does it run the game, Jonathan? Is it okay? Uh, I've... I've never tried it on a PlayStation. I've tried it on an Xbox. That seems to be going okay. Um, today we're going to be playing with a ton of mods. Uh, I should probably have gone through them. Um, just to show you guys what we were doing. But it doesn't really matter. It's, it's a lot of mods. Dutch Farmer, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, good to have you here. Again, I'm... Truly sorry for all the um, <laughs> new mistakes that I'm making here. Right, we're in Eye Assault. We're using cosplay, of course. And Animal Pen extension as well. So the map is done now. I've done a ton of changes since the last time you guys were here. Uh, but none of the changes have been visual as such. It's been, um, it's been pretty much about... Uh, the XML files cleaning up the scripts and making sure that everything is running smooth. I've gone through all the texture files so there are no outdated textures anymore. There are no texture files that are in incorrect format. So if I wanted to, I could have this map on the in-game mod hub. I'm not gonna, but I could have. Um, Ron is saying he's tried FS17 as PS4. Yeah, the, the mods on... Uh, it's, it's a bad situation with mods and console, console, isn't it? I mean, it's one of the reasons that I continuously play on, on PC is, is because of the mods and, and the option on the PC uh, compared, to the, um, compared to the console. Oh, so you do, you do have a couple of crashes from time to time, Jonathan. Well, I suppose, I suppose it's difficult for someone like Giants to make a game that, that suits so many different platforms like uh, computers and, and consoles. Right, so we're on a completely fresh uh, save game for, for I Assault now and um, let's just jump into um, the car. Before we do anything, I am going to go in here and say... Let's turn off weeds for now. We don't really want it. Plant grow. Let's take that down to normal. 
Um, what else do we want? Let's turn all of these off. Fuel usage on default. There we go. And automatic engine start off as well. Third, I'm going to set down to slow. Oh, the starting fleet. Yeah, I can do. Um, let's see what we have here. Uh, Ron is saying, I read many times that people on a console start to complain that they cannot use all mods. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame them. I mean, it's, it's not a good situation that uh, Giants have, has set us in there, is it? I mean, with, with Sony and Microsoft being very, very strict about what you can do on the console, it really does put a limit on, on the modders. Uh, this map, for instance, would not be would not be making it to the console because of the scraps, the, the scripts that you saw in the beginning, where I was uh, presenting the map and I was doing some credits and saying thank you to some people. Um, because of that script alone, this map is not going to be uh, on console. Now I could take out the script, but there are other things that is prohibited this map from being on console. And it's just not, in my mind, it's not really fair. Um, I would have loved for everyone to get uh, the opportunity to play this map, but unfortunately I can't. Right, let's go through the uh, the starting fleet. We have the um, the good old pickup here with the good old horn. Gotta love that one. Uh, we've got a couple of tractors as well. We've got four tractors. There's been a bit of change since the last time. Only one tractor that has been changed since the last time, but still, it's enough. We've got a very small Mesa Ferguson, but it's very usable. We've got um, a case and another case, and then we've got a John Deere. Now, you're going to have to excuse, by the way, if you hear some noises or people talking on the outside of the door. It's so hot right here right now, so my door to the garden is actually open and people are running out, uh, running around outside. <laughs> yeah, run to the France is going on. Are you following it? It's I'm actually following. Well, I'm not following it. I have it running in the background while I'm doing some stuff, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, so those are the four tractors that we start out with. Um, then we have a couple of other machinery over here. Tony is asking if there's a forest and a sawmill on the map. Uh, if so, could you show us a little bit of it? You bet you I can. And there is both forest, uh, forestry and sawmills as well. There's only one sawmill, but hopefully that will change um, with some of the common mods. Right, over here we've got some earth equipment, we've got some disc harrows, we've got some plows. Um, the machinery you start out with is it's not great. There's a lot of it and it should get you by uh, for, for the start of the map. It's not the biggest machinery, it's not the smallest. It will get you by for what we have right now. So you can get started. If you want to go um, ecological, is it called that? I can't remember what it's called. Doesn't matter, but you've got the option. If you want to spray, you can do that as well. Uh, I find Final on console a lot harder than it looks in PC. I bet you it is. I bet you. I, I actually really bet you it is. I mean, I'm using, right now I'm using the keyboard and mouse for controlling, and I. That's just, it comes natural. I do have steering wheels and pedals, and I actually I am going to use that, those today. Um, if they work, they don't seem to work. Shit. We have some harvesting equipment over here. You do have um, a medium-sized uh, combine harvester. It's not the biggest one. It's there. It's it's okay. It'll get the job done. Medium-sized header and a corn header as well. We have some, uh, we have a baling wagon and yeah, just various equipment. So one of the things that I actually did on the map um, from the last time is I changed a lot on the actual uh, main hub, the main farm. That is pretty difficult to see right now. So if I just turn these off, there we go. So here we have the main farm. Now, if I press the X so we can see how much or what kind of uh, farm or what land we own. You can see that we own 14, uh, 29, uh, 30, 32, 31, and we own this piece of land here. This is forest that you can cut down straight away if you want to. And then we own this little part in here. Now we have the chickens in here. We have um, the farmhouse and that's it. That's what we own from the beginning. But we have the option to buy 
everything else that we want to. Now, this is the cow pasture. We don't own the cow pasture from the beginning. We have to buy it, um, but it's there. The, the, the buildings are there, the, the cow pasture, the, the, everything is there. We just don't have access to it. Uh, the same goes for the pig enclosure. But as you can see, the price is not too bad. Uh, the cow pasture is valued at 83,000. The uh, pig pasture is, is valued at 42,000. We also have this little pocket over here. This is the workshop. So the workshop is there from the beginning, but we don't own it. We have to actually buy it in order to use it. Um, I kind of wanted to bring that into the map. I don't want. It, I didn't want it to be too easy to begin with, but still, I wanted it to be how I wanted the, the farm to look. Now, if you want to, of course, you can start in the two other modes, and you can still buy all of this if you want to, and it will work. Um, so yeah, uh, the workshop is valued at 6,300. Uh, the SciTech, uh, the SciTech side panel. Oh, it works on the console. I was not aware of that. I actually thought that was a PC only thing. And if it were a console, I would have thought it would have been an Xbox, but that's pretty cool that it works on, on console as well. I have it as well. And I, I'm, uh, I'm actually a, a decent user of it. I use it quite a lot. Right, so just to illustrate my point with the uh, with all the pigs, or all the animals. So you see we have the pigs on here, and if I bring up the F1 menu, I can't actually buy anything here. Now, this is where the trigger is. Uh, this small icon here is indicating that this is where the trigger is. And if I bring up the F5 menu, uh, you guys will see that there is a trigger both for the door and a buy trigger as well it's probably a little bit difficult to see right now anyway it's there uh, so once I buy this area here we can open the door and we can buy animals I, I suppose it would be I can demonstrate it over at the uh, workshop that probably be a good idea um, but besides all of this the farm is is done everything is done all I'm waiting for is the season mod, and I forgot about the trailers we have parked in here. Just standard starting equipment. We've got the uh, silo hall here. Pretty nice building. With an echo on the light, I still haven't figured that one out. I'll get around to it. Um, yeah, the unload point. And the load point is out here. I used to have a uh, digital display uh, showing how much was in the different silos. I can't get that working on um, on 19. I'll get around to it at some point, but it's not going to be for the first release. So this is the workshop. Uh, we also have the um, the fuel tank over here. Now this is part of the workshop, so you don't actually own this from the beginning, if I'm correct, if I'm remembering correct. Um, but let's buy this one so we can actually see what's going on first of all let's just see that we can't open the door there are no in f even the f1 menu there's nothing telling us that we can open the door but if we go ahead and we buy it like this we now own it and when we go in here we get uh, an option to open the door and here we have the workshop trigger plus some trees going through oh nice Uh, Ryan is saying that it's good to see, but I'm afraid that people on the console won't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I get it. <laughs> Definitely. The F5. When I, when I press the F5, um, it shows me where the triggers are. You can see over here, for instance, at the fuel tank. I have a trigger right here, this yellow box that appears out of nowhere. Now, I'm sorry about the frame rate. It kills the frame rate quite a lot. But that yellow box is indicating that this is where I place the trigger. Now, in order to do this, you need to be on a PC and you need to have the console command enabled um, to get this working. It's just a nice little feature when you are when you're looking for errors on the map or when you're building a map. And we've got some other basic starting equipment here. Now, you should be able to go and farm straight away. And as we were talking about before, you own 14, uh, 29, 30, 31, 32, and this piece of forestry here. So let's just go through the map if you haven't seen it before. 
Uh, Sebastian, hi, welcome. Yeah, I do have a Discord server. I'm Jack. I have a friend of mine working on setting it up properly. So it will be up. I hope, I actually hope uh, before the end of, of the month, uh, we'll have a, a proper Discord server up and running again. I used to have one, it was shut down, so I'm setting up a new one. Hopefully it'll be good. Right, so the map for those of you that has to seen it before, this is the main farm. This is what you start out with when you start on uh, on the easy mode. I can't remember the name of it. But when you start as a farm manager or from scratch, you don't own anything. So forestry areas. We have up here by field number 18, this is a forest. We have uh, these yellow bits here. All of this is forest. And over here we have some forest as well. And this is forest. This is forest and this is forest. And so on and so on. So there's plenty of forestry on the map uh, for those of you that want to do that. And even more so, let's just jump over here to the footer shop. Oh shit, I didn't want to buy it. <laughs> Oops. Let's jump over here to uh, the footer shop. If we put these back on, no. Wow, am I really being stupid? Why is the hotspot not coming up? Oh, it's right there. Jesus Christ. There we go. We jump over to the footer shop. Now, on this side of the footer shop, we have empty ground. There's nothing here. There's only trees. Um, here we go. This plot right here, all of this here, is empty there's just trees and this dirt road here um, the point of this area here and we have another area over here that is exactly the same these two areas and this area up here I've made them um, completely bare with only trees on them so when you go to buy it uh, you should be able to buy it pretty early on um, if you start out from scratch for instance you only need a couple of hundred thousand dollars uh, euros to uh, to actually buy it you can fell the trees you can cut down the trees and use a stump grinder on it and you can build your own farm here and the fields around all of the areas should be in a reasonable size and a reasonable price for you to start out from scratch if you don't want to do that you can start out as we just did here Right, let's have a look at what we can do here. So yeah, you can just cut down these trees. There's quite a lot of them and it should bring in a quite big profit if you want to. Right, let's head back to the farm. Here we go. And let's start by um, setting up some auto drive, shall we? So one of the things that I actually wanted to do last time was uh, I wanted to combine fields and have cosplay drive the the grain back to the silos oh my god my steering wheel is heavy like hell um, I wanted the I wanted cosplay to take care of everything but in order to do that I had to set up these uh, transport causes and it, it never really worked out the way I wanted it to so people were talking about why I never used auto drive and I was like well, I haven't actually tried it I don't know how it works so so I decided I wanted to take a look at it. And as you can see, we do have auto drive here. Uh, and the uses of auto drive is actually quite simple once you start using it. Now to get up the arrow, uh, as you see here, the, the cursor, I just click the middle mouse button and it brings up the cursor. And then we have this hut here. Now we have a maximum speed of 50. We can uh, change that by clicking the plus and minus button. If you never used auto drive before, this is how we uh, we use it. So it's just using the plus and minus button. These only apply to speed. So this is only for the speed. We have a mode. Uh, currently we, we are in the drive mode, as it says up here. But if we click that one, we can go into the pickup and deliver mode, uh, deliver mode and unload combine and load and so on. It's intuitive once you, uh, once you start using it. Then we have a record button, uh, which is what we're going to use to record our courses. We have some stuff here that we'll get into, and we have the turn on and turn off. 
we have a continue button as well and we have the edit mode now the edit mode is the one that we want to be in when we record so the way to record um, it's pretty simple you press record and you drive the course that you want to drive and I've kind of started thinking of it as a similar to a, tr a, a train system a railway you, you put down some lines and the vehicles will, will try to follow them the best way possible. Now, unlike course play, you don't have to name the courses. You only have to name the destination or the points where the points of interest. So let's say that um, let's say that I want to record a course around here. So you can see we got a red line and a cross right above uh, the vehicle right now. And if I start driving, we will get these marks on the ground here so this is pretty simple this is pretty self-explanatory really that this is the way that the course is going and you can see that the red line will follow us um, to each waypoint and if we drive around here it will do a pretty nice uh, course so if we just go around here and say all right well let's stop the recording here so now i have a course set up but i have nowhere to go on this course and i can't actually get from uh, i can't actually get to this first point so i need to combine them so this is uh, the one that we want to use for that select neighbor point now you can see that we have this yellow line this yellow line tells us where we want to connect to and the red line where we want to connect from so let's say that I want to connect from this waypoint over here, for instance. I'll just have to drive back until the red line is on that waypoint, as it is right there. And it will connect from this waypoint up to the start. But let's uh, head on up to the last waypoint here. There we go. So now we're at the last waypoint and we want to connect this course. So we click this one here. No, not that one. This one, <laughs> toggle connection between. So this will toggle the connection between the red line and the yellow line. It's pretty simple, really. And now we have a complete course. But we can't go anywhere because we haven't told uh, AutoDrive that this is, a, uh, this is a course. All we've done is that we've draw, drawn out a course. So let's put in a, um, a target here. Let's call this target target yeah let's call it target seems like a good name so now we have the target in here uh, so all we need to do now is we need to tell auto drive that we've did some changes and it needs to recalculate this here we go so we just click this button here then this is recalculating the routes so it takes a little while it's not too bad so if we go up to the next waypoint up here, like that, and we select the next target, you see that it says to select the next target. So target is the next one, and we press drive. Now auto drive will handle the work for us. So it works pretty much as Courseplay does, except it's actually a lot simpler. Um, Yeah, I've seen some talk about uh, the difference between console and PC. I, I, there is a lot of, of, of difference between them. Um, I guess it's just making the most of what you got, really. There are pros and cons for both of them, really. Uh, the pros for PC obviously being the mod, um, but it's quite expensive, and especially if you want to have like a, a proper PC, it's quite expensive. All right, so we're coming up at target. And we are informed down here that the driver has reached the point. So what if I screwed up? What if I did a mistake? Now, if that had been course play, I would have to redo the entire course. But let's say that I want it to start from here and over to that one. All right, well, I would go over here and say I want it from that waypoint there. I can just press this one here, delete waypoint. And it will actually delete the waypoint. And it's just following it along. So you can see the red line will always try to get to 
um, the nearest waypoint. All right, but let's say that I want to connect these two up instead. So I click this button again, and it suggests that I wanted that one. But what if I wanted that one? Well, I can click this one, and it will suggest other waypoints. Ah, oh, that's too far from this one here up to that one. But it will reach that one, so let's connect those. And there we go. And once again, I'm going to set a new target over here. And we're going to call it point one. And now I made some changes to the route and I need to recalculate it just to tell AutoDrive that I've made some changes. So it's recalculating and there we go. So I can go to point one now. Uh, if I go up to that one, there we go. And it will work out just fine. So this is the basic principle of, of AutoDrive. It's very simple and compared to, to course play, at least for transport ro uh, routes, it's it's so much more simple. Um, I hope you guys can follow along on this. That's good coffee, by the way. It has to be, I made it. <laughs> anyway. It's coming up to point one. There we go. And we're notified that the driver has reached the point. Okay, so this is all good. But what if... Um, I'm just going to delete all of this, because we're going to make some brand new routes. So this is pretty much how far I've gotten using auto drive so far. There is a difference, though. The, you see that the, the course that we just recorded was all green? But what if we have like a um, a narrow road? What if we go up here? Now this road up here is pretty narrow and it wouldn't make any point to set up a dual way uh, system on this one. So you could record uh, like that. Let's say that we want to record from here so if I press two times on the record button, you see that it goes purple over here. Now this is the dual way uh, path. So you see that the line it, it's putting down is uh, purple and there is no arrows on it. Let's just record a course here. Uh, just a little bit further. Come on, there we go. And we're gonna stop the recording here. So we're gonna say, we're gonna call this point 23. Don't know why, but we are. And let's just get back to the start of the course. Wow. Yeah, that's another thing, guys. When, when I'm live streaming, don't hire me as your driver. I am a terrible driver. So this is basically just to indicate that this is how it works. So let's set another point here. Uh, another point. There we go. And <laughs> we're gonna recalculate the route. And hopefully this should work out just fine. There we go, let's start the engine up. So if I say that I want to go to point 23 now, and I'm out here, I'll just say go for it. It will automatically pick up the nearest uh, route and it will go there straight away. So here we go. So you can see that it keeps a maximum speed of 50. Now I can change that if I want it to, and I can change it on the fly. Um, but 50 seems to be a really good speed actually. Okay, so we're reaching point 23. There we go. And I had, I'd, once the driver has reached the point, I don't actually have to press anything, I can just take over. And just to indicate that it can go the other way as well, we're gonna go to another point. 
So this is working, the way I see it, this is working completely like a railway system. I think that's the best way of thinking about it. You lay down the tracks and you put in some stations and depending on where you go, the train will figure out what track to use. Uh, it's pretty clever actually, it's a good way. I was reading up on it on, um, on the uh, Courseplay GitHub. Now there is, there is a uh, support for autodrive in Courseplay and vice versa. So these two mods will work together on, on completing tasks, which means that we can set up a course for combining uh, using Courseplay and a course for going back to the silo using autodrive. And that's exactly what we're gonna do, one of, what we're gonna do today. All right, let's just delete this one because we're going to set up something different. Wow. All right. Did I forget one? I think I did. I did. There we go. Okay, let's head back and let's get a, um, a tractor and a trailer. Now, I'm going to record this using a tractor and a trailer. Uh, simply to give myself an idea of where to turn and how big to make the turns. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, those are some pretty good points, huh? Let's park up this lovely pickup here. Right. And let's jump into a tractor and use this for setting up the courses. Now, there are some things that I discovered uh, using the tractors uh, not recording with the tractor it's way 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 easier if you have a tractor and a trailer to do this it's just a good tip so I was setting up I was toying around with it yesterday and I was setting up some courses uh, to go to a pickup point and um, it didn't really work that well I, I kept getting errors, uh, and it turned out it was because I hadn't set the uh, pickup point in comparison to the trailer. I've actually used the uh, the car to record it, so I didn't have a trailer on the car at the time of recording. It's just been stupid, really. All right, so we're gonna do something here. So I want to set up a little bit of a, uh, a pause point down here. So we're going to go out of cap view. And I think from here we're just going to record a little bit of a, uh, a pause course for this. I'm sorry about the noise of my steering wheel, by the way. Which, by the way, I'm think I'm going to stop using. So we're going to set a point here, going to call it eye assault. And we're going to stop the recording there. Uh, how are the mirrors now working? Is it still standard? Yeah, it's still standard. You can't adjust them, sadly. Um, didn't we have a mod for that in 15? I think we did, actually. I think we did have a mod for that in 15 or in 17. I can't remember. Right, so the reason I'm setting that point there is to have a unload spot if you're coming back from the shop or something like that. So the next thing we're going to record is a course going all the way through the farm. So right around here somewhere that would be a good spot for it. So I'm going to record a dual way course. So it's just going to go through the farm. Yeah, yeah for 17 we had a mirror mod. That was pretty good, if I'm not mistaken. So this course here is just a course that takes us from one end of the uh, of the farm to another end of the farm, and we can hook up um, our other courses to this one once needed. Right. So we're going to stop the recording here. Okay, so that seems fine.
The next thing we're going to record is a course going to the silo. And I think I'm going to record a one-way course here. So I'm actually going to record a little bit different. All right, so we're going to start out from here. And we're just going to record like this. So because my steering wheel is so heavy again, I'm actually using the keyboard. So having the trailer on the back is quite a big of a help now because I need to set a point here, but I need to set the point when the trailer hits the unload point. So that would be right here. All right, so let's set a point here. So this is going to be silo hole. Unload. And we're good to go. Now I'm continuing recording here because we need to get out of here as well. So we can go like this. This should be just fine. All right, that seems to be working out just fine. So now we want to stop the recording and we want to connect this up. I'm just going to turn off the engine so we can actually hear ourselves. So we want to connect this up to the existing cores. So I want a line from this one, from this course here, up to that one. That seems like a good connection to make. So it'll go from here up to there. But I also want it to go into the other direction. So if I set up a course going that way, so it will go onto that one. So this seems to be working out just fine. Um, hey Martin, welcome to the stream. Uh, the map is done. It's actually done. I'm, I'm just waiting for season to come out. So I can um, implement that into the map. Right now we're just uh, playing around with uh, cosplay and auto drive, trying to see how these things work works together so here we have a little bit of an issue that I actually wanted to um, avoid I didn't want this one to start out from there so we're just going to delete that because I want it to be like this I want it to be able to navigate from around here somewhere this seems about right so this one so when you come from around there, it should go up there. And... Oh, welcome back, Jonathan. Sorry about the YouTube problem. These things happen, right? It's just annoying. Uh, Ron, no. Uh, cosplay is not available for console, and I'm actually not sure if it will be. Uh, at least not to my knowledge. Right, I also want it to be able to drive into that course coming from the other side. So we're just doing a, uh, a full every scenario scenario here. Uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to connect up that one to that one there. So we can actually go down that path like that. So now all of the courses should have an option to go down to eye assault. But let's connect it up from iAssault to um, to uh, the purple course as well. I hope all of this is making sense. And I think this is a good waypoint to, to aim for. So we're going to do it like that. All right. So far, so good. We actually have a little bit of a basis set up here. And we're just going to take that one away. So now you can go from one end of the farm to the other end of the farm, and you can go from either end of the farm into the silo. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I always get into this, but I seem to be um, getting into these situations with creating a lot of courses. Has any of you uh, seen the, um, the attempt I had on making a cosplay 
network like this in Farming Simulator 17, that was a mess. It worked out in the end, though. Um, Sebastian, are you thinking about the map? Uh, when the map is coming out? The map will be coming out, uh, I would say probably within a week of, um, of the release of season. Now, the reason it's going to take a little while is because I need to, um, I need to prepare the map for season. Uh, I need to paint in something called snow masks. Snow masks is, um, is an area of the map you paint in where snow won't be fallen. So that would be inside buildings. That would be um, if you simulate that the, the roads are being uh, cleaned for snow, uh, you need to paint snow mask on that as well. Now, this is also affecting the bales. If they rot, um, if, if, if you store bales in snow mask, they won't rot, as far as I'm, I'm being told. At least that's how it was in the 17 version of it. So I need to paint all of that in and I need to test it. So I, I guess probably within a week, uh, my map is called Ayers Hold, um, and I still don't know where to release it 100%. It will most likely be on the new FSUK uh, site that's coming up. Uh, I don't know yet. Well, we'll see. I'll, I'll make sure to tweet about it, and I'll make sure to, to make everyone know as soon as I know. Right. Um, Let's just turn off the engine because there are a couple of things. Right now you can see that this one is connecting over to here. And I don't really want it to connect to an already existing course when I start um, creating a new course. Right, so if we press Control, Alt and zero key on the numpad, we get the auto drive settings console. So here we have a couple of things. We have a pipe upset, we have a look ahead, distance and so on. Uh, we also have, where is it, auto connect start. I actually don't want that. So now when I start recording a new course, it will not connect to a nearby course. I find that to be a little, little um, nice uh, feature to have. So it, it doesn't automatically connect to a, a nearby course. Right. Um, Let's connect the course from here. So you can see it didn't connect, even though it had the red arrow pointing over here, it didn't actually connect to it. So we're gonna record a course. Going this way. Like so. And it's pretty simple. Now this is mundane work, isn't it? It's just like, wow, do you really need to do that? Yeah, you have to do that. So I want this one to connect to that one, just to make 100% sure that things are going to be okay. And I want it connecting to that one as well. All right. Is everyone following along? I think this is, this must be so boring to watch. Holy shit. Now I want to do the same going the other way. So I want the course going from around here. Going this way. So I want it to connect up here. I want it to connect up there. And I want it to connect down there. So now we should be able to go in all directions from pretty much everywhere once I connected up the last one here. So that was actually a good spot. Let's get that again. Can we uh, jump over there? Thank you. So yeah, I want it to connect up there. That's fine. And... Oh shit, I forgot to stop the recording. <laughs> well, that's a good um, good exercise here. I also want it to come from around here, going in there, so that should be fine like that. Right, okay. Let's just disconnect the trailer for now. I don't really need it right now. Hey Tony, thank you for the praise. Thank you. Uh, I really hope the map can can live up to um, to your expectations. It's taken a long time. I've spent about half a year on this map. Can you believe it? It's just I I don't know how 
I convinced myself to continue going. And there's been some controversies about it as well. People, people talking about me leeching off someone else's work because I didn't complete, I didn't create this map from the beginning. I don't know. I disagree. I disagree. Right, so I did a bit of an oopsie here. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's delete that one. And let's delete that one and that one. And we're going to have to do a little bit of redecorating it. That one has to go and that one has to go and that one has to go. All right. Okay, so let's connect this one up to that one. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Are the higher people still so expensive in cosplay? In FS17, I would use their income to 45 euro per hour. They are. They are actually quite expensive. Um, it, it's quite... I think it's about... Is it a thousand or something per hour? I forgot. It's quite expensive. It's really expensive. All right. Uh, we're going to go from here to... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, with all the mistakes out the way, uh, we should be all right here. So, let's recalculate. Let's do a little bit of a test here. Actually, let's, uh, let's get the trailer hooked on. Let's do a little bit of a test. So let's say that we come from around here somewhere and recalculate the route. Let's say, what are people saying? Um, Jonathan have, is asking if I've ever had someone try to steal my viewers. No, I haven't. Um, I don't know how that works. How can you steal someone else's viewer? You might want to tell me, I guess. I want to try it out as well. Oh yeah, run. That would be pretty cool, actually. Um, should I make some sort of like a uh, a Google Drive for these documents? Would that be a good idea? I think I might go ahead and do that actually at some point. But let's say that we want to go to the silo. So from around here, it should be able to navigate to the silo without me having to tell it anything other than I want to go to the silo on load. So let's drive the course. Let's see if it can figure it out. It can. Pick the course up straight away. So you can see on the the lines that are blinking white, that's the next line that it's going to take. And we can't see shit because we're <laughs> on top of the roof. So it's going to go to the silo hall on load, which is um, right here, and it's going to notify me that it's at the silo hall on load. Ah, when you live stream, someone comes on chat and say the whole chat. Um, okay, I, I didn't actually um, got to read that. Right, uh, that works. So can we go from the on-dot point to the silo hole? Let's see. Well, it didn't complain that it couldn't find the way, so I think we're good. So all of this has to be done for every single thing. So we have a lot of load and unload points and everything needs to be done. What I want to do right now is I want to set up a course going from uh, the farm to field number 31 because we're going to start out on field number 31. Oh, I forgot something here. I wonder if it can navigate here. I forgot to set a point from coming that way into I assault. I need to do that. Now nah, we're gonna crash. Stop. Let's set up a point for that. I forgot about that. So this should be fine. There we go. Recalculate and it should be fine.
Yeah, Ron, you can post it in the chat if you want to. That's that's absolutely fine. Uh, Mr. Unicorn, welcome. I like the name. Unicorn, Unicorn, Miss. Unicorn is Steko. I like it. Welcome to the to the stream. I uh, hope you are finding it enjoyable. Uh, it's all right, Ron. I um, I got it. I actually understood. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to record up to field number 31. So, whoa, just going to go in cab view. So we're going to ditch the uh, the trailer right there. Seems like a good spot to ditch it. So I'm going to record a, um, a road course now, and this is going to be a dual way uh, course. So this is pretty mundane, and I'm sorry I'm going to drag you all through this. Um, but it, it has to be done at some point. And I'm thinking once I've done this, once I've set up a complete network for the for the map, I can release that for, for AutoDrive alongside the map. So you guys can use it uh, if you want to. Or you can set up your own, it's up to you. So I want to start out here on a dual way. And let's get into cab view. Should probably use my steering wheel, that's probably better. Although it's very noisy, I hope that's okay. Uh, let's see if I can drive this. Wow, this steering wheel. I don't know if any of you guys are using steering wheel, and if you do, what kind of model and, and make do you have? This is a Logitech G29, and the steering wheel itself is great. It's, it's leather, and it's actually leather. Uh, it's pretty sturdy, and the buttons are okay. There's a lot of buttons on it, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. But the software is unbelievably bad. Ah, oh, Mr. Unicorns, your G29, how is your software? Mine is randomly um, recalculating. All of a sudden, I can be in-game, like, like right now. It could start to recalculate and do that initial calculation spin that it does out of nowhere without any warning whatsoever so I have to re I have to uninstall the driver and reinstall it to get it to work ah oh, damn it it seems like I've got a bad a bad wheel then it's been so bad I've had it for a couple of years now it's been really really bad but I'm happy to hear Mr. Unicorn that yours is good right so we're just gonna record this one this course here and we should be getting on to the farming pretty soon guys hope you are patient and you can live with this so we're gonna stop it right here this might be a good place to stop it okay yeah that seems fine Uh, the Xbox controller, yeah, I actually thought about that as well. I have a PlayStation 4 controller for my uh, computer. Um, so I, I was thinking about using it, but I don't know. I like, I do a lot of sim racing as well. Uh, Project Cars 2 and a set of Corsa Competizione and stuff like that. And, and I do like having the steering wheel for that. Um, let's just see. Like all your videos, Mission YouTube, yeah. Steko, thank you. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? I've been absent for quite a while. Uh, the last six months, I've been doing a lot of work on this map. And um, once the map is out, that'll be it. I don't really want to do any more uh, modding. At least not for for publicizing. There's too much con um, controversies about it. There's, there's too much conflict going on in the modding community. It's, it's just a bad place to be, so I don't really want to do this again. But I really was determined to make this, this map done, uh, make it finished, and, and have you guys play on it as well. It's a brilliant map, and, and TP Mudding, the original mudders of this map, made a brilliant effort on it. So, when I saw that they weren't going to release it for 19, I was like, oh shit, I'm going to release, <laughs> release it then. And also, all of the comments from the 17 version of the map I did has just convinced me that it was a good idea to do. Um, 
Main reason we watched, we love to see you crash the game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm doing my very best. Just make a profile on Logitech program for FS19 and every time you play. I actually have that. I have that for all my games and I've set down the um, the false feedback on, on um, FS19 to, I think it was 7% or something like that. It was really low. Doesn't care. Doesn't care at all. It just does it how it feels. So stupid. Right, let's uh, record a course up here and we're going to record a dual way course as well. And once again, I'm just going to go through the entire uh, length of this road. Just because we can. Whoa! Sorry about the noise from the steering wheel. And I'm probably rocking the table as well, <laughs> so it's pretty, pretty bumpy ride. Right, so we got Fuel 31 in there, and I'm gonna try a little, little something here once we get back to that. So, Martin is asking if I actually got the permission from the original creators to create the map. No, I didn't. I didn't. And that bucks me out, like, unbelievably much. Um, I think in the beginning of FS19, or probably a year into FS... not FS19, in a year into FS17, I contacted them. Uh, they have their own forum, and um, I sent a DM to the guy, the creator of the map, asking for permission to release my version of it for 17. Um, I know he's seen the, um, the request. I know he's seen it. But he hasn't replied to it. And I tried a lot of times. Like, a lot of times. But no reply, and no one really uh, seemed to, to care about it. So I just figured for 17 I'm not going to do anything. But this is 19, this is a completely different game. And they have announced on their own forum that they're not going to redo this map for 19. I know it's a bit of a... Uh, it's a bit of a stretch, but... If you go onto FSUK and you see the thread that I made there about the map, you'll see that I actually tried to convert the map from 17 to 19. It couldn't be done. There were too many um, customized texture files. There were too many things going wrong. The uh, conversion tool just didn't work. So I had to rebuild the map. And when I had to rebuild the map, I actually changed pretty much all of the texture files to, uh, to new texture files. So this is no longer the um, Low Hill Country map. If we look at it in that term, I know it's a bit of a stretch and I guess I could get in trouble, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Right, <laughs> let's, let's record a course here. So this is going into field 31 and I think I want to try something. I just want to go in here. And let's set a point down here. This is a good spot. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan is saying, uh, had someone come into live and I was doing some try to steal viewers for me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jonathan. That's, that's rubbish, isn't it? It's just, why would people do that? So field 31, this is 31, yeah, field 31. And let's continue on. It really sucks when when that happens. But I mean, okay, if the viewers went, perhaps I won't really, um, I don't know. Be careful what I'm saying here. Right, let's, let's go up here and end the recording around here. All right, let's connect. I want to connect up to there. That seems about right. And I want to connect up to there. That seems about right. Now, here's a tip as well. So you see here that this is saying you can only go one way on the green one. But if I go over here. So now I'm going to come from here and I want to go back to there. So if I press this one, now this will follow the same line that I just said, but that's a one way line. But doing this makes it a two way line. Just a little tip. Um, I 
<laughs> Ron, you're more than welcome to speak. Just go mental, dude. Just have fun. I think I think I, I, I had I have a a, a, tweet, a Twitch channel as well, and I set up some rules on that one. Uh, and the only rule is that there is no rules. Um, it's all about having fun. Of course, treat other with respect. Treat people like you want to be treated, but just have fun, mate. Go for it. All right. So now we have a connection down to field 31 on this particular course here. Uh, see what's going on here. I'm trying to read the chat while driving. It's a good thing. Sort of like texting and driving at the same time, isn't it? Don't do that, by the way. <laughs> right, so we're going to set up from up here as well. Uh, so we probably want it to go that way. For crying out loud. And we probably want it to go... Can we go? Yeah, we can. That way. That's fine. That's perfect. And... We'll do the same trick over here. Okay. There we go. Field 31 is now connected to the network. Hey, Davish. Welcome to the stream. Uh, thanks for joining in, by the way. Um, we're trying to see if we can uh, make some sort of network for auto drive and have auto drive work together with cosplay on doing some things that would be pretty pretty cool uh ron is saying on youtube you can use a night but this is an auto moderator and you can program it. i actually have that one but because i'm such a flipping noob setting up my uh, obs um i don't think my night but is actually working right now <laughs> so you can just go uh, go mental if you want to <laughs> yeah, run. Uh, don't text and drive. Use FS19 at your own risk. I can't be held responsible for any damage. Do you do you think we actually have to say that these days? I can't be held responsible for any damage a mod uh, will do to your computer. I think I, I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's just a thought. Right. Uh, so we want to connect up to here as well. I want it to. Go probably. Is that okay? Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Oh, for crying out loud, I didn't want to do that. There we go. And there we go. So we just want to do the same up here. Like that. And connect down to that one. Oh, Davish, uh, Davgish, I think you're called. Davgish, yeah. Um, are you uh, uh, an experienced user of Autodrive? If you are, uh, I'm probably going to have to ask you a lot of questions. I get a lot of tips from you. All right, so now we actually have Field 31 connected. So if we recalculate, I should be able to go from down here to Field 31. Let's just have a look. Yeah, that's working out fine. I'm not gonna not gonna drive it. I'm gonna set up a uh, combine to go and do some work. Let's just connect the trailer that we just carelessly dropped out here. <laughs> here we go. All right, so I think we're actually ready to do some farming now. Can you believe it? It's just been like an hour or so and yeah, we're ready to do some farming. Let's turn off the engine of this puppy and head on over to the combine. Dantelon says the game will not bad for you. <laughs> Matter of time that FS will be related. Yeah, I agree. 
I agree. There's a lot of things you can do. You can, you can drive your combine over someone while actually harvesting. No one dies, though. There's no blood and gore in, in Farming Simulator. So you guys think I can do this using the mirrors? The mirrors on the combine, for some reason, actually works pretty well uh, from standard. You don't actually have to do anything with them, just use them. I wonder if I can do this just using the mirrors. Now, don't laugh at me, okay? I'm, I'm trying. I'm doing my best here. There we go. I could. Now, I wonder if I can get it out as well. Oh, sorry, Sebastian. I hope you're going to be okay, though. What, are you missing spots here and there? Right, let's see if we can get this puppy out of here without crashing into stuff. So, if I do like this, I should be good. Yeah, we are avoiding stuff here. There we go. Can you believe it? We actually managed to get the combine out without crashing into stuff. From in cab view. I've never done that before. And that's the truth. I've actually never done that before. Right. If I'm not mistaken, I should be able to say, you know what? Go to field 31. Go for it. I forgot something. Uh, five minute need to unload. <laughs> All right, okay, uh, Sebastian, that's that's cool. Rodney saying, I always think I'm making love, trust me, I think of it. <laughs> and man, you can drive. Oh, thank you. Let's get this one uh, disconnected here. I think I forgot to connect this one up, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did. You guys should have warned me. It's not your fault, it's my own fault. Alright, let's get this one hooked up. Um, yeah, I want it to go like that. And I probably want to have like a very tight turn here. Like this. Like that. I think that's the best for it to um, to be able to handle trailers and stuff. <laughs> Ron, I agree. <laughs> All right, uh, now if we recalculate, we should be able to send the combine to field thirty-one. So, are any of you guys uh, playing racing sim as well? On, uh, on PC, that is. I'm sorry, I'm a PC guy. I don't have any consoles. Uh, I used to have a PlayStation, by the way. I sold that one not too long ago. I was never playing. It was just, you know, collecting dust. As they are, aren't they? If you have, if you have something else, like... If you have a PC and a console, I don't know. It might just be me, but I tend to never be using my console at all. It was just standing there. All right, let's get this one out of the way and let's go to the combine. Which should be up here. There we go. So now, if we connect it to field 31, it should, uh, it should take us right there. Wow, we might want to get out of the fence first. Here we go. No, stop. I meant for that to happen. Where's my trailer? Oh. I was about to lose my trailer. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Field 31, take me there, oh great genie. Well, it seems to be working now. It didn't complain, did it? So it should be fine. So this is a first for me. 
I actually haven't set up Causeplay and Auto Drive to do this before. I've never tried this. Um, so I'm pretty curious on, on how this is going to turn out. But if I'm understanding uh, what I read on the GitHub, I should be able to set a Causeplay up pretty standard. All I need to do was set the... Um, uh, all I need to do was set the onload to, to a standstill and it should work out just fine. But that made me think a little bit. I probably want to have the combine with the pipe on the outside of the fruit at all time. I don't know. We'll see. And now everyone starts thinking when you drive backwards. What is he thinking right now? <laughs> I think I think um, I think that could be a very good story, actually, Ron. I'm not I'm not too sure I should share it right here. or We should share it right here. It's a f family friendly show. <laughs> Ish. Right. So we got to 31 without any major issues. Pretty cool. Thank you for taking me there. Oh, genie of the auto drive. Um, the auto drive is actually pretty good, I have to admit. Now, I've been a long time user of Causeplay and I've been a long time admirer of, of what they could do with Causeplay and I did some pretty freaky stuff with Causeplay. Now, that sounded wrong in many, many ways, but I, I managed to set up quite some, some advanced courses. I have to say, auto drive is just making it a whole lot easier. Wow! What the hell was that? <laughs> Run. Are you making a fan fiction now? That's pretty weird. <laughs> right, let's get going on this one. I do, I do. It's all about getting it in the right way, isn't it? Planning out your strategy and all that. So, let's use cosplay for this one. Um, so, we're going to be on field 31, and I do want headlands, and I want three of them. And I want to start on the headland passes. I'm going to set the corners to turn. It's not going to use it for some reason. I don't know why. Starting direction? Uh, I don't know. Should we just set it to automatic? Uh, let's have a look. Fuel center. Now this one I'm going to be toying around with a little bit. Racetrack. If I'm not mistaken, this is so... This is to keep the pipe on the... It's to keep the pipe on the part of the field that has already been harvested. Oh, is that spiral? That might be spiral. I think that's spiral, actually. Uh, right, multiple tools. We don't have any. We don't have any islands here working with this 7.6 meters. So let's try and generate this course and see how that goes. Yeah, I think it's going to stay with the pipe on the outside at all times now. So this might be the one that we want to use. So we want to start the course at the first waypoint and oh let's stop the driver as well because we do want to go in here here we go stop during unloading now this one was the important one if i'm not mistaken so let's set that to activate it so now we should be ready drive from the first waypoint and he's off go for it my friend do it um, so, let's, while we're at it, let's save this course, um, straight away, so we can come back to that. So, field 31, harvest, 7.6 meters, wasn't it? 7.6 meters. There we go. So, I can reuse that course. Wow, I can hear the police outside. It's not me they're coming for, not this time. I hope. Um, Sebastian is saying I like that I write in English so other people also understand what I write. Yeah, 
same here now. I'm Danish and a lot of you guys are also from either Denmark or from other parts of Scandinavian. And I just really enjoy English. Not that I enjoy English more than Danish, but it's just a better way of communicating so everyone understands what we're saying. If you can understand me mumbling, that is. Uh, Ron, I'm not going to ask you to shut up. Just go for it, dude. It's all about having fun, isn't it? Tony is asking when the global company script is coming out. Um, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. I read something on the forum. I think it was yesterday. That... Right, I'm going to turn off the engine while we talk about this. Um, the uh, global company script will be coming out. Now, they didn't make it in time for the uh, for the mod content, which was the, the idea for it. Sadly, but I think they have some sort of fallout in, in the team, internal in the team, and, and I don't know. Someone stepped down as something, and, and there was a lot of drama going on. Um, and they didn't actually make the cut for the mod contest. But they are going to be um, releasing the mod anyway, and it will be released on the mod hub. However, it, with, it is with a bit of a twist. So my plan was... Wow, I'm spitting all over the place as well. Sorry, one second. Uh, Jonathan is asking if, it's, if I'm sure the police is not coming for me. Well, I might pull the blinds, you know, just... I'm not home. I'm not here. Oh, Ron, are you, uh, are you living in Patdor? That reminds me, I need to go to Germany to stock up on, on soda, uh, soda. Right, so there is a twist on the uh, global company mod. Now, this map in particular... Those of you who played the map in 17 will know that this map had a lot of factories on it. Uh, up here, for instance, we had the uh, refinery. This is where you could make fuel. We had a, a sawmill here and we had a pallet factory here. We had a lot of factories on this map. Now, the, all of those are gone. I've completely removed them because I, uh, I don't want to use an outdated script. I want to be using um, the global company script. But... Uh, they made a disclaimer in the in the global company script. Mod, map makers like myself are not allowed to actually implement the global company script into the maps anymore. So I can't do that. I can't actually place the factories into the map anymore. I I really wanted to do that. That was the that was one of the big points about this map that I wanted to to maintain or, or keep the factory aspect of it and then have Global Company work into the map so you didn't actually have to download too much to play the map. Um, but yeah, that, that plan went out the window with that disclaimer. Now I'm going to respect it, I'm not going to be doing it. I will, however, I will of course download the Global Company mod and I will set it up how I think it's supposed to be or how I would like it to be on this map. And we will do some let's play on it and, and you guys can get a feel for what um, what you can do with the global company mod. So that means that I'm probably not going to be waiting for the global company mod to come out to release the map. Um, my best guess is that that I'm going to be releasing the map about a week after um, season mod. That escaped my mind for a second there. Yeah, Ron, I'm sorry if I'm spitting on your screen. Um, it's just a lot of saliva coming out there. Uh, truck driver. Oh, you're from the Netherlands. All right. So you're just um, resting right now in Pelbo. It's pretty cool. Right, so let's set this one up. That was not the one. We want to go into here. So now we want to go to the combine on field number 31 and unload that and return it back to our silo. So we want to be in the... Uh, under combine mode so we want this one this is the target field this is where we're going to pick up stuff so this is going to be field num <coughs> number 31 and we want to deliver it so we can use this the next unload point so this is the unload point and this is the pickup point so we can either use these ones here or you can click right here and you get a menu now this is useful when you have a lot of points so silo hall unload is where we want to go and if I am just going to drive the tractor out here, I think we're good. So we should be good. Auto drive is taking over. 
And let's just get those away so we don't have to watch the entire line all the time. So I'm pretty sure that we are good now. Oh, that was very snug. Holy shit, that was close. Someone is going to have to uh, to pay for new signs at some point if I keep doing this. All right, so it actually seems to be working out pretty well. How are we doing here? Yeah, we've got plenty of room. I feel like, I don't know, it might just be me, and I don't know if you guys can hear me over the tractor. It's very loud in my ears. But I feel like uh, the modding community for Farming Simulator 19 has become... Is toxic the wrong word? All of this kumbaya thing that we used to have in 13 and 15 and 17 where we were pretty much modding to make the game better and it didn't really matter if we used someone else's mod in what we were doing as long as we credited them for, for what we were using that has gone pretty much out the window in 19 like uh, LS Mod Company is now saying that you cannot incorporate the um, global company script into uh, the map so yeah this is what I was hoping it would happen so what he does now the combine is he's gonna stop and extend the pipe and once he's extended the pipe uh, Corsplay will call for the auto drive driver to uh, come and pick up or to come and unload so auto drive will do the calculation itself once it's on the field and it should calculate the best route for this so are we okay with this now pretty cool pretty cool so only thing left now is uh, to set up auto drive for the rest of the map most stream because they can make some money out of the channel I don't call names but some diehards in the FS community stuff yeah you're right run you're absolutely right um, I got into a, a bit of a debate on FSUK uh, about the same topic because I've already said it, I said it a couple of times uh, about this map. If you want to use anything that I made on this map here, if you want to use it for your own mod, if you think that a model I made is really cool and you want to use it, go for it, I don't care. I don't need credit, I don't need you to ask me for permission, it's just go ahead use it. All I want to do is make the game better for everyone and if I have something that that you find is worthy of your mod well I take that as a compliment that's just a good thing that if I can contribute to the community in that way perfect it's great it's awesome all right um, yeah it's going fine okay let's jump into the pickup because we are gonna set up some courses now. Auto drive courses. And this is the mundane part of it all. So I hope you guys will bear with me. <laughs> and you get to see my awesome driving in uh, in the pickup. I'm really, really good at that. So we will come back and, and just make sure that the um, the case is going back to the silo with the tr uh, the trailer. But we might as well start setting up something here. Oh! Roadkill! Uh, Ron is advising me to pick up straw uh, using a new course and then the tractor with you. I could do that, yeah. I'm not too fussed about it. I mean... Um, the fields in this map are so big that we'll have plenty of straw, so if, if something is left behind, it's not really an issue. Says like I have a ton of in-game money to toss around. But yeah, you're right. If, if you set up a new course and you don't set any uh, working within it, 
it will actually just clean the entire field. It'll take a bit longer, but doesn't really matter, does it? All right, so this is the last point on this road. So we're basically just going to um, record a course if I'm going into that one. Wow, I'm caught in a wire here. Here we go. Record a course. Here we go. Um, I'm trying to use the steering wheel and I'm, I'm very, very focused right now. I'm extremely concentrated. It's so difficult because when you're driving the... Um, when you're recording these courses, you want to have like a straight course. I want to stay in the center of this lane. It's so flipping hard. This stupid steering wheel and this stupid <laughs> force feedback. The steering wheel is so heavy, it's like there's no power steering at all. It's like driving a car from the 80s. Alright, let's go for it here. So this is um, a bit mundane and I'm just going to go in cab view here. It's a little bit more silent as well. I feel like I'm shouting a lot. I don't know if, if it come across like that, but if it is, I'm sorry. Uh, just going to read the chat in a little while. I just want to make sure that I get this um, recorded properly. What the hell is this music? Last time we were streaming, uh, I think it's about a month ago, I was streaming the last time and we had Christmas music. <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just put on a random playlist from Epidemic Sound and yeah, sometimes Christmas music will be there in the summer. And if we want to listen to some Christmas, Christmas music in the summer, who's to tell us not to do that, huh? Right. Outside cab view, let's go a little bit further, and that should be fine. Can we get one more? Can we get one more? Come on. One more. Come on. Yeah, you can do it. No? No. Didn't want to go for one more. That's fine. Let's stop the recording here. Uh, do you remember? Do you remember? Giovanni, sorry. Just started watching. What map is this? Uh, Giovanni, this is uh, I Assault. Um, that will be coming out very shortly. It's my map. Um, it's a conversion from a popular map from 17. Uh, Low Seal Country, I think it was, but it has been redone for 19. And it is quite big. That's what she said. No, she didn't. She never said that. No one ever said that. Uh, the map is quite big and it's a four times map. It's pretty nice actually to, um, to play. I spend a lot of time trying to get the feel of the map right so it feels um, pleasant to play. Uh, I toyed around with the lighting, um, so you'll see that later on. Um, it's a fictional map, but it's it's set to be in the northern part of Europe, uh, close to Scandinavia or the northern border of Germany. And around here, when it's summer, uh, the sun don't set until like 10 o'clock in the evening. I try to mimic that as well, because let's just face it, without season mud, it's always summer in this game. So I made changes to the uh, standard lighting system here. It's pretty cool. I've also put in some uh, custom sounds for rain and all of that. And uh, by the way, the map will probably be released on the new FSUK site. I'm still trying to figure out what to do there. I'm not completely sure yet, but I'll announce it on my Twitter uh, as soon as I know anything. And I'm called Datalund on Twitter, by the way, if you want to wanna follow. It's, uh, it's a reason for you to do that right there. Just shamelessly promoting myself here. That's what all the big YouTubers do, isn't it? <laughs> Just comparing myself to a big YouTuber. <laughs> right. Here we go. Let's uh, stop this recording. It's pretty good. But serious, YouTube is... For most streamers, become a commercial thing. I see streamers ask for donation, etc. How you can support the channel. It's true. 
Uh, now, I'm not going to lie. I would love uh, for this to become my full-time job as well. I really would. And if that's to happen, going to go in cap view. Just to, no, we're not. We're going to go a little bit away so we can actually hear ourselves. If if I were to make this my full-time job, I would have to make a lot more money on on advertising, and and I would, I too would have to rely on um, donations and stuff like that. You can donate if you want to. The super chat and all of that, everything is fine. I don't expect it, and and I don't encourage you to do so. It, it, the, the option is there. Actually, I, I set up an option as well. Now, this is one thing that... I'm, I'm just going to pat my shoulder a little bit here. I set up an option to donate money um, to me. However, when you, when you click that option, you get taken to a page where you can donate money to me or a charity, like 100% to me and 0% to the charity, or vice versa, 100% to the charity and 0% to me, or 50-50 or 70-30 or whatever you want. So if you feel like you want to give away something but you don't want me to get the money, you can give it to some charity if you want to. Um, because, as a matter of fact, yes, I, I would like to get the money. I would like to live from this, but it's not that big of a deal, is it? Right, let's follow this guy, see how he handles going back to the silo. Uh, wow. I'm sorry about the... Um, I don't know why it's lagging so much. It's, it might just be me, but it's lagging a lot on my screen right now. Am I dropping frames? No, I'm not. According to um, according to my OBS, everything is fine. All right, he picked up the core straight away. This is gonna go really well. So AutoDrive is handling the, all of this right now. Um, you're welcome, Giovanni. Giovanni, I'm sorry about your name. I'm truly sorry, I'm just an idiot, I'm sorry. Ryan is saying, um, I just watch if the channel is fun to watch. Uh, the interaction with the people who watches that you stream is complete volunteer. If I want to watch something I want to pay for, I'll rent a movie. Yeah, exactly. You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm sure about Ron. <laughs> I think I, f I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> Oh my god, it's hot today. I don't, Jonathan. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't. Uh, I would love for it to be released on consoles, but I'm using custom scripts for some of the fruit types and some of the bales. Uh, I'm also going to be using custom scripts for um, some various other things. And, and these scripts, and it is these scripts alone. Wow. Like, I'm sorry again if you can hear people outside, but it's warm here, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, these scripts alone, um, is the reason that it won't be released for consoles. Another part is, if I am to release it for console, I will have to host it on the in-game mod hub. Only giants can convert it into a console map. And, to be frankly honest, it's a little bit dodgy because it is a map that I'm converting from 17 and it's not my original map that I'm converting. So I feel like if I am to release it on the um, on the in-game mod hub, someone might get a little bit upset with that. I don't know. So I'm sorry. I am really sorry. I really wish I could release it for console, but I'm afraid it won't happen. Sometimes it, it lags with the wheat on the screen. It happens to me a lot. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I'm, uh, thanks, by the way, uh, Giovanni, for for letting me know. Um, I don't know why it is. I had that happen to me last time as well. That was the hops the last time. Don't know why that happened. I'm sorry, by the way. It's not like my computer can't handle it. It's more than capable of handling it. But... I guess that's just how it is. I'll look it into it. I'll definitely look into it and see if I can fix it. Um, might be something about the bit rate. I might have to stream at a higher bit rate. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm streaming at 9,000 bit rate at 1080p. 
those are just kids playing, by the way. That's that's if you can hear them screaming, I was like, I'm sorry, but it sounds so violent. Holy shit, it's just kids playing. Um, right, so this is going fine. Auto drive is handling the uh, transport course, course play is handling the um, the combine course. I'm handling the talking, and my cat is somewhere. It's run outside, I think. Uh, my CPU temp is actually pretty good right now. They're at 60 degrees. Uh, 55, 60 degrees right now. They're doing okay. Um, and my GPU temp is, well, that's about 65 degrees. It's not, I don't think I'm, I, I don't think it's my hardware that's actually struggling. I think it's just because I'm an idiot at setting up OBS. I might need to take a course on that. Oh, right. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so weird, isn't it, that, that they ha this happens because of crops being on, on the screen? That's really weird. Are we happy about this? Yeah, he's waiting for combine now. And what is the combine doing? Um, actually, let's jump on over here. Because I set this up to do racetrack. And I have never tried that before. Let's see how that looks. So he's going back here. I don't know where he's going. He must be going up here? No? Here? There, maybe? Is he going up there? I don't know. Was it racetrack or spiral? I forgot. I'm getting old. That's why. I'm just getting old. Old and senile. Where the hell is he going? I thought the entire idea about the spiral uh, setup was that he wanted to keep the pipe on the outside of the grain. Um, at least that's why I set it up this way. It's weird. I'm learning with you guys. What the hell is that? He's done up there. Oh my god, what is this? Jesus. Right. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. This is weird. You know? <laughs> this is really weird. Ron is saying, don't worry about your frames. When you drive fast, most will get blurry. Uh, you don't have much slack there. Ah, oh, thanks, Ron. Dave, enjoying your content. Thanks, Dave, and welcome to the stream. Uh, I appreciate you being here. It's really, uh, it really means something for me. That I'm, I'm really appreciating, appreciating it. Now we will start doing the straight lines. But will it? If I'm not mistaken, right now what it's doing is having uh, doing the straight lines, but the pipe is continuously in the grain or inside uh, the line. Here. This is the exact the exact opposite of what I wanted. It's so not what I wanted. Okay, well, cosplay is doing what cosplay is doing. We're just gonna let it sit here and, and do its job, and let's head on to the um, to this one, and let's start actually producing some um, some stuff here. Start producing some um, some courses. So, I kind of want to have an exit and an entry to each field at each point. Um, oh, by the way, here's the sheep farm. Uh, this is here by default. 
But you don't own it. You have to buy it. Uh, it's a pretty cool place. Pretty neat. The uh, pellets will spawn in here now. I made some... Um, I made some uh, some icons, so you can see over here. These icons here, isn't it cute? Uh, these icons here with the animals will represent where you can buy animals once you own uh, the place. Uh, icons like this one is where you can pick up stuff. So this is where you can pick up stuff from a silo, and in this case is where the wool will spawn. Wah. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty cool place. Uh, now we'll start doing this. Okay. Um, I always look at such deeds. Fortnite players have a lot of blurry surroundings. FS players also. Main reason uh, it amazes me that you don't have much lag. I do have quite a beefy computer. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It, it should be able to handle this pretty well. And stream, I'm streaming right now in 1080p, uh, 60 FPS. For those of you that nerd about this stuff, it's a pretty common stream setting um, for for high end streamers. Most will stream in 720p with 30 FPS, and it will look just fine. And I could do that, and it would look smooth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ron, I'm going to let that statement be on your behalf. I'm not going to read that one out. Um, right, we're going to record a spot in here to this field in here. But no, my computer is more than capable of doing this. Now I'm playing the game in 1440p uh, and I, sh I, I should be able to stream it in 1440p as well. Only only downside of streaming in 4040p is I can't have the interaction with uh, the chat as fast as it is right now. So that's an issue. Right, so let's set a point here. So this is field number something at field number place. Uh, shit, that's field number 31. Is it field number 32? It's field number 32, I think. Field 32, wow. 32 north. Uh, Runner said, don't, don't go high. 4K is nonsense. No one will receive 4K on YouTube. Your settings are perfect. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree. Now, that's the reason I don't go any higher. Uh, I have a triple. A monitor setup and all my monitors are 1440p but there's no point in streaming in any higher than 1080 um, at least for now maybe in the future it'll be different I don't know but right now it's there's no really point in doing it so we're just gonna connect this one up here like this and let's connect that one So, there's a lot of micromanagement using this, but it's well worth it in the end, trust me. So now we can get to, is that a 32? I'm curious now. It is 32. Right there, that's 32. So 32 North is now connected to the grid. And let's just continue on our mundane work of building a network. So my plan is, of course, to release these auto drive uh, settings for uh, iAssault once they're, they're done and the map is released. So you guys can use them if you want to. So I'm trying to set up a... Um, I'm trying to do a good job here. <laughs> Hopefully it will turn out fine. Uh, let's see, do we want to go from here onto there? Should that be okay? I think that should be okay, shouldn't it? It's an early turn though. Do we want to... Do we want to take it from up here though? Like that? Yeah, we want to do that. 
that's the one and that's the one and let's connect this one up we want to connect it to that one and we want to connect it over here all right damn guys it actually it, it almost feels like we know what we're doing uh most nobody will tell you how your own stream looks if you want i can record it send it to you and then some fine tuning i'm actually recording it myself uh ron but yeah you uh, i'll be happy if you would do that that's uh that would be a good idea but for me personally your stream is really good i'm, I'm actually really pleased to hear that i'm sorry about all the noise going on I forgot to um, forgot to shut off my uh, my tablet. It's almost going to say an iPad. It's not an iPad. I'm not that fancy. I don't have that much money. I can't buy an iPad. I'm not made of money, you know. <laughs> right. Uh, wow. That was really bad. There we go. And do we want to connect that one up, or do we want to go... Yeah, that one is fine, isn't it? Like that. And... This one. Wow! So now we can actually go an entire lap around the village. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And I think our um, cosplay driver is doing fine. And so is our carding driver. So everything seems to be doing okay. So, um, I forgot who of you it was, but someone was asking about forestry area. Let's take a look at it. We're gonna be driving down there. We might as well take a look at it while we can. So I'm not going to be recording any uh, auto drive courses right now. I think I'm going to be recording a lot of those off cam. Um, I just wanted to make a, a couple of basic courses uh, so you guys had an idea of how it worked. And I wanted to prove to myself that auto drive and course play can actually work alongside each other and it seems to be going just fine. Whoa, driving in... Farming simulator is always interesting. Oh, uh, small detail. The um, the road signs are accurate. You can actually use these to navigate around the map. It was something that I don't know. It, it all of a sudden it became very important to me that all road signs were accurate. And you can use them to navigate around the map. Wow, there we go. Didn't need that sign anyway. So let's go down to the um, the sawmill to start out with. I'm just going over the lake. It's a pretty cool lake. There's a guy out there fishing. There's a couple of uh, boats out there. And yeah, they're animated. They are actually moving. They should be at least. They are. It's good. Um, what else can we take a look at while we're going that way? We have the uh, vehicle dealer up here. Which is uh, needing a little bit of fine tuning. It seems like those oil, oil stains need some bit of fine tuning. But other than that, it looks pretty good. The center depot is right over there on the other side of the uh, road. But we are going down to the sawmill. Um, the sawmill was actually added uh, last week. I um, completely redid that area uh, last week. So that's a new addition uh, compared to what you've seen earlier. I've also removed the um, greenhouses that was here. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping something will come of uh, Global Company Script. But we'll see. We'll see.
and the village if you recall how it was in 17 the layout of the village is the same with the church and everything but all of the buildings have been changed so all of the buildings are now from uh, from 19 fs19 either from the uh, original map or from uh, other fs19 maps so they are with the right texture right shader and everything so it looks good they also have light during the evening which is something that I actually wanted to um, I, I made a big deal of it as well that I wanted it to look like the map is you know like people are living here we have the uh, only German store now I couldn't find an English version of it and I, I I became a bit lazy actually to to change the signs to English I've changed some of them most of them are, are in English so here you see the open for delivery between 8 and 18 and that's true once the clock in game reaches 18 these doors will shut and you can't get in there until 8 o'clock next morning or out if you're uh, trapped inside but you can actually go inside here and um, do your shopping if you are in need of a basketball well there's a basketball right here Thank you. Now there's no one here at the checkout, so yeah, just gonna have to wait here for a while. Uh, right, here we go. The sawmill is over here. So this one I have put together using various original buildings from the uh, FS19 in-game map uh, the Giants maps and just kind of pasted them like I felt it would look good so this is the sawmill a brand new uh, addition to the map I tried to decorate it with dirt and dust and you know trees here and there the unload point is right here so the trigger spans above the uh, this structure, so it goes from around here onto over here, I believe it is, and you can um, sell wood right here. Uh, Run is in, don't doubt about your cell players will like the map or uh, not. Um, I love to play the production map, and lots of people hated that map. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you're right, Run. I actually like that as well and, and that was part of the reason why I fell for this map as well back in 17 there was a lot of production on this map too uh, here we have the um, thing with the thing wood chips that's what they call it wow that was difficult so this is the sawmill it's just a standard function there's nothing exceptionally new about it it's just a different layout than what you've seen before now moving on to some of the um, forestry areas those have been redone as well uh, but that was all part of building the map so I tried to emphasize all of the uh, detailing on the map I tried to make it feel like people were actually living here like it wasn't just you and, and random AI that was here. People were actually living in the cities and um, and so on. So the forests uh, are pretty much defined by this ground texture that you see here. Can we? Uh, could you uh, be quiet just for a while? Thank you. And they have a lot of stuff going on. There are a lot of detailing here and there, and in some of them you'll find um, deers, wolves, uh, bears, foxes. Uh, there's a bunker in one of the forests as well. And um, I was thinking about adding a UFO as well, but nah. We're, we're going to keep it as it is right now. Um... How does your map work, for example, with other mods? Um, I love to use the trailer with auto load and auto unload. 
Did you try this also on your map? I did, yeah, and it works perfectly. As a matter of fact, I have the uh, auto unload and load trailer right now. Oops, in here for forestry. I think somewhere is that is that in here then? Might be in trailers. I have a ton of mods, and one of them is the uh, auto load and unload. I can't find it. Doesn't matter. It's there, um, and it works just fine. There are no errors. I've spent so much time making sure that the map is uh, error free. Um, of course. Some mods are just poorly made, and if that happens, I can't really guarantee anything. But the mods you find on the uh, in-game mod hub, and from FSUK, I can pretty much guarantee that all of them will work on this map without causing any errors. Whoa, that was close. Uh, L33 or Lee is asking if I'm going to set it up for seasons. I am, and it will be uh, released. About a week after season is is released, if everything goes well, that is, um, I do want to do some testing, and, and of course I'll be live streaming all the testing and so on. Everything will be uh, will be just fine. Um, but yes, it will be season ready, uh, and it's actually part of the reason why it hasn't been released just yet. Um. Jonathan is asking for how long I'm going to be doing the stream. I don't know, actually. Probably uh, until I can't be bothered anymore. Or you guys are just going to flee or ask me to go get some rest or whatever. I don't know. I, I've not really planned anything. It's just playing along. See how it is. I actually thought about when starting this stream. Maybe we should just go for it. Maybe we should just, you know, do a let's play on live stream. I've never done that before. That would be pretty cool, actually. Uh... Ron, you're not a favorite of the season, Mark. Well, it's your prerogative. I mean, you can choose to play with it or without it. The map will be ready for it. Uh, the thing about the season, mod is uh, if you don't play with it, no harm done. Um, it's not like you can't play the season-ready map without season. You can, and there's no no harm in uh, no harm in that. But if you do decide to want to try out seasons at some point, the map will be ready for it. Uh, Lee is saying it's looking good. Keep it up. Thanks, Lee. Appreciate it, thank you. Uh, a lot of work has gone into it. A lot of hard work. A lot of frustration as well. <laughs> you have no idea how many hours I spent going through various texture files looking if the uh, DTX format was right. It's just amazing. Uh, I see all players who use the season mode skip time. Yeah, uh, that's true. It's true but they added that into the base game as well haven't they you can uh, there's a sleep trigger in the house by the way the house here there is a sleep trigger in here so you can go in here and you can sleep but there is an upstairs area as well and this is where the fun comes in i can't access it i can't get up there i i can't if you guys can get up there, I'm, I'm thinking about making a competition and possibly having a prize like a... <laughs> I don't know what it could be, but... It is possible to get up there using the uh, stairs, of course. Oh, that was so close. I almost had it. I almost had it. Nah, can't do it. Um, but you can get up there. And I noticed it... I, I noticed it quite early on after installing the house that it was pretty on... Well impossible to get up there using the stairs but i wanted to keep it in because i actually did it i did do it once getting oh oh here we go yeah you can get up here i just won the prize sorry guys oh no i'm an employee of my own i can't participate i can't participate in the competition wow i'm gonna have to um to adjust this tree but yes there's an upstairs area with the world's largest toilet and the world's smallest shower <laughs> Uh, there's nothing really fancy about this house. It was just um, just to have a house here that I, I brought it in. Uh, it looks pretty good, and I was capable. I was able able to do some um, some fun gimmicks in the house, and I'm going to show you right here on the television. If if you watch carefully, 
this is my video on <laughs> seeding and fertilizing in cosplay version 6. Uh, so I <laughs> shamelessly am doing advertising for myself. And the mouse mat right there. That mouse mat. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna show you right now. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. That mouse mat right there. <laughs> because, well, why not? Um, so shamelessly um, advertising my own products here, just because I can. And no, th those are not products, by the way. Those are not merch. It was just a friend of mine thought it was pretty cool to have those done for me. So thank you to her. Uh, runner saying yes, but then I was asking myself, okay, there are seasons, um, but I'll get so bored and start to speed up the time and skip time and then to see that people remove snow. Okay. Uh, you're right. However, the season for 19 is going to be a lot more detailed. Uh, you have conditions like heavy rain will damage your crop, uh, light rain or a lack of, of moist will damage your crops. You have um, weeds are not growing on the entire field anymore. It'll be growing in patches, and you can uh, you can fight the weeds in a mechanical order, or you can use um, herbicides uh, to to fight the weeds as well. You have a lot more options. Plus, they made changes to how the uh, animal are working in uh, in seasons. But you're right, Run. It's a personal thing. It's uh, it's it's. Um, some people like it, some people don't. And and there's no need to um, there's no need to try and convince someone of doing something they don't want to do. I need to install FS19 to check out cosplay, so I've got something to do this weekend. Yeah, run. You definitely should. Um, can can one of you guys do a test for me? I set up a command in the chat. So exclamation mark capital A capital D should give you the link for the auto, the latest auto drive version because the version you get from the in-game mod hub will not work with cosplay um, you need to download the latest version from the uh, auto drive github but i set up a command exclamation mark capital a and capital d in the chat should give you that uh, link and uh, i've also set up a command for cosplay exclamation mark cosplay in one word all small letters should give you a uh, cosplay. I don't know if it works. I doubt it works because my OBS is not really detecting the chat. So it probably doesn't work. Nah, it doesn't. Thanks though, Christopher. I, I'll make sure to make it work for the next stream. That's a little bit of an annoyance here. Oh, hey, it did. Wow. I made something that worked. Can you, can you believe it? <laughs> I'm like I'm like a proud 10 year old. Look, mom, I did it. I made something that works. It should, uh, oh, the um, auto drive is AD, D for drive, but they are capital. So capital A, capital D should give you the uh, auto drive link. Yeah, just like that. Let's see if this works. I might actually have done something good here. If that's the case... Oh my god! Holy shit, I'm a pro! That's it, I'm quitting my job. I did that a long time ago, but... I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do this professionally now. I can see sponsor deals coming all along now. That would be pretty cool. I'm kidding. Right, let's uh, continue on here. Jeez, sorry guys. Oh, other way. So I'm gonna set up a couple of um, of courses to uh, some sell points as well, just so we can get a. I, I want to try and set up a tractor to go from the silo to a sell point as well. See how that works. This is a nice, easy road to record on. Um, it's just pretty straight road. Just one more point. Come on. Come on. There we go. So, 
So, are you guys familiar with auto drive? Um, does any of you use it regularly on your, on your uh, farming simulator game? I actually didn't know about it until, well, until last time I streamed. Where I think Christopher, it was you, wasn't it, asking me why I wasn't using auto drive? I think it was actually. And I was like, uh, I don't know. No, it wasn't you then. <laughs> Sorry. But I remember someone asking me why I wasn't using auto drive. I was like, don't know, never used it. But using it now, it turns out to be um, a really good idea. And the integration with cosplay is just making it even better. All right, we're going to stop it there. And let's connect it up to that one and connect it up to that one. And let's go from this point here to there. That was perfect. And let's go from that point there on to there. Perfect. Now, what else do we need to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to do... We're going to have to do a long road now. I hope you guys uh, are okay with that. It's pretty boring to watch, I'm sorry. It's pretty boring. It's pretty boring to record as well. I'm just going to have to be honest and say that. But let's do a big road here. Well, yeah, we're gonna turn off traffic for this, definitely. So I was talking about before these uh, spots, like this plot you see here, is where there were some factory in seventeen. I've just deleted the factory and all the scripts for it and have the place open for you to place something of your own choice here. Whether that be a factory or build a new farm or whatever you want to do. Alright, turning off traffic. Traffic, traffic, traffic. There we go. And record. We're going to be recording from in cab view, and I'm going to try and use my steering wheel. How how loud is my steering wheel, by the way? Right now, it's not that loud, but I'm not really turning either, so that could be a cause of that. All right. Well, it seems to be going okay. Uh, let's set the autopilot here. Let's set it down a little bit so we can use that. Uh, that was the horse farm on the left of us right here. There we go. 80 kilometers an hour. That seems about a reasonable speed. So this is uh, one of the roads that goes all the way through the map. So it's a pretty, pretty long road. It's pretty mundane um, recording this. But hey, it only has to be done once. And next time we come here, we don't have to do this. We can just use auto drive. So this is um, making it a hell of a lot easier for us to actually, um, in the future, use cosplay for, for the field work and use auto drive for the road work. It's pretty nice. Uh, just received a message about the cameras. Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm gonna look at your chat in just a second run just have to focus on driving it's texting and driving at the same time you know what I can't do it I'm not a woman I can't multi uh, multitask I was just about not even remembering what that was called so have you guys been downloading from the mark contest what's your your thought on it I've not actually played any of the maps from there or any of the mods from there, but I'm curious as how's the quality of the mods and the mod contest this year? It's something I've been looking forward to. I do that every year. I look very much forward to um, 
to the map contest. Right, going through the city with 80 kilometers an hour. Pretty standard. <laughs> it's just how I drive in real life. Exactly how I drive in real life. So, the error message that we uh, that we get down there, uh, T560, the work tool needs to be unloaded. It's just an indication of that things are going okay. Things are actually working without errors. Can you believe it? It's pretty cool. Love that horn. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. The longest map ever. Now, this is a four times map, so it does take time to go from one point or one end of the map to the complete other end of the map. But we're doing just fine. And we're coming up to the last entry. That is the one right there. So let's stop the recording there. Uh, Ron is saying I just received a message about camera, cameras uh, who record your speed and then flashes you. That would be a great mod that you can receive speeding ticket. That was actually in the uh, 17 version of the map and there were um, speed displays showing you how fast you were driving when you're going into the cities on this map in the 17 version. Now I couldn't figure out how to get that script working for, uh, for 19 so I, I kind of dropped that idea but yeah that is a cool addition to the map. Definitely. Right, going the other way. Oh shit. Going the other way, like that, and go for it. I remember uh, getting a ticket on, I think it was 2,000 euros for, for speeding in a tractor. It's not every day you do that, is it? Right. Here we go. So we got a bit of scenery to uh, admire as well. The map is big and it's beautiful. It is actually really beautiful. I know I, I have to say that I made the map, but it is so, it feels so calming um, playing on the map. These wide areas you have, uh, all the hills, all the, the large fields. Some of the fields are tremendously huge, but that's just nice. Got room for big equipment and uh, yeah, it's just nice. Okay, so once we get up to the center depot, we know we're halfway uh, from one end to the other. The center depot is actually a really good measurement uh, of where you are on the map. It's, pr it's placed like Almost dead center. Uh, right. And the vehicle shop is almost dead center as well. I think actually the slurry storage is just about dead center. So right here on our right is uh, the slurry storage. Wow, this is a long, long, long road. And we got one more of these. But we're doing okay. It's pretty annoying watching that red line just dancing all over the screen. So the mundane job, well, it has to be done. But it's not, it's not too bad. Now, I'm not going to be uh, setting up um, a network for all fields just now. I'm just going to be setting up for what we own and to some of the sell points uh, for today, at least. Come on, come on.
So we're coming up to six o'clock in game. So this is about the time in the base game that it will start getting dark, isn't it? I think it is. Or oh, was that seven o'clock? I can't remember. All right, let's stop the recording there. Uh, near Hamburg in one night, going up to Denmark and then back. Up is allowed 60, flashed with 80s. Oh, Jesus. That was pretty expensive, wasn't it, Run? Was your, was your employer um, impressed? I think, I think that's the right word to use, isn't it? Why are you doing all these auto drive courses? Uh, I'm doing them for the future. Um, I'm doing them so we can send a tractor from... If I want to sell something from the uh, from the silo here and I get a best price down here at the water mill, I want to be able to send a tractor straight away from up here down to the water mill without me having to drive it. So I'm just... Uh, I'm just preparing for... for when we need to use it really it's mundane i'm sorry i'm sorry that is it must be extremely boring to watch uh and i'll just do a couple of more courses and then we should be uh should be over it but it is just to make sure that we can uh, we can use it in the future and also of course to to show you guys what you can do you probably already know it most of you <laughs> don't need me to to show you yeah, Ron, I can imagine. Were you um, were you bending the head a bit when you came in to his office and say, "Hey, boss, you know what? I gotta tell you something. You might receive a letter one day." <laughs> it's quite fun. I never done that. I never had uh, a boss paying one of my tickets. By the way, I have received a ticket once for speeding as well, but that was in my own car. Uh, can we go to that one please all right that's fine <laughs> lazy player uses this option you're right lazy player indeed oh shit someone is in traffic let's jump over and see what's going on yeah he's definitely in traffic holy shit dude could you stop for a while just a tiny bit All right, first hiccup. Uh, right. So he's parked in the middle of the field. It's a bit of an issue. Let's uh, let's send him on his way. So we can press the continue button. If I want to, if I want him to go out the way or want him to continue to the next point, I just press the continue. You see, it, it changes here, and he goes to the silo hall and load. Um, so he's going to navigate to the nearest. Uh, the nearest course. Uh, Ryan is saying received three from Fletchboard. <laughs> Jesus. Are those, I, I, I really hope, Ron, that those money aren't coming out of your paycheck. That, um, that you don't have to pay that yourself. I don't know. I don't know how that works. So next closest waypoint. Maybe you should show Jonathan how helpful cosplay is. Uh, cosplay is housing without a higher person. No, I think it's all right. Um, it's just very mundane and very boring to watch, and I definitely understand that. Uh, and I will be recording most of it off cam. Here we go. He's back on the road. And... This driver is doing just fine. Heading back. Cosplay is a brilliant mod, isn't it? Um, the cosplay we had in 17 was unbelievably good. My god, that was a good mod. Um, the amount of options you had, the amount of possibilities that mod gave you. I feel like we don't have that in 19. I have to be honest, we don't. I don't see that happening in 19. And 
Cosplay for FS19 is not what we had for 17, definitely. It's a little bit of a... Um, it's a little bit of a shame, really, because the option with cosplay is, is unbelievable. Uh, the way that it can change the gameplay. Sort of like how Season is changing the gameplay as well. It's just not going the way right now. It doesn't seem like the development of cosplay is going that way right now. All right, we're going to set up a... Um... Yeah, Christopher, I completely agree. 19 is five step backs. And, and it's, it pains me a little bit to see because I was really, really, really an advocate for, for cosplay for 17. I really loved that mod and made a ton of videos about it. And all of it was just me being very enthusiastic about it uh, and the possibilities of it. But for 19, I made, what, three videos about cosplay for 19? And all of them has been like... Just because I felt I had to do something? It's not because I felt it was a good mod. Uh, right, let's record a, a dual way course here. Down to the cell point. Now I'm going to be going through the entire road, uh, but that's just to... Um, to get it done. And this is a pretty narrow road with pretty many trees. Pretty many? Pretty many? Can you say that? Pretty many trees? There's pretty many trees. That's something that I just invented now. I don't think you can say that. There's a lot of trees close to the road, so I'm just gonna go in cap you for this one. Pretty many trees. That's a new one. <laughs> and these tight turns as well, it's... Interesting road. But we've got a cell point on this road here, and we've got one coming up on the other end of this road as well. Uh, I'm just going to go for the one that we just passed and uh, I'm going to set up a, uh, a course for that and we're going to have a tractor driving some weed from the silo onto that cell point and using auto drive. Now I set up, in 17 I set up courses for this using course play. I had the entire network like we have right now using course play. That was a task and a half. Holy shit. Um, right. Can we get one more point? I just want one more point up here. Come on, one more. Go! Jesus, there we go. All right. Giants changed the engine. I understood Giants here. Uh, newer video cards, and it will take some time that we'll adapt to the new FS19. Main reason I still don't play it. You're right, absolutely right. Um, I learned it the hard way, starting doing mapping. For 19. Now the engine change was needed. Uh, you can see the graphic being a lot smoother in 19 and we have a lot more options. Uh, the shaders we're using in 19 are so much more advanced and they do a lot better job than they did in 17. But the amount of changes and the lack of documentation for these changes, it took was it four or five months before we had some scripting documentation, some Lua documentation? We didn't know what we were doing. We were we were just acting blindly, uh, trying to get the best out of it. That was a shame. That was actually really a shame. All right, let's have a look. So we're gonna go here. So the old grain mill is one of the cell points. do I want to do this? Do I want to do a dual course here? Yeah. Let's do a dual course. Wow, that was the wrong way. Let's go the right way. So we're just going to do a course going over the cell point. So how do I do this? I'm going to try and set the um, target here, so... Grain mill? Unload? See if that works. And back up here. 
So by doing a dual course, we would be able to come from either direction and, and just going in there. We don't really... I don't really need more than one course here because I don't see more than one tractor uh, approaching this at a time. So... Uh, I want a course going that way and I want a course going that way. That seems about right. And let's head on up here. I thought I could hear someone talk to me, you know? Do you know that feeling you get when someone feel like someone is talking to you? That just felt like that. Like, who the hell is in here? There we go. And let's do it for the other one as well. There we go. So now the tractor can come from both directions going in that way. And now we just need it to get uh, a chance to get out of there as well. So much preparation for using this mod, huh? Is that okay? That's is that, yeah. That's gonna be okay. Um, yeah, that's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We also want one here. And we want one going the other way. Like that. And like that. Oh. Alright, let's recalculate. Not yet, because we haven't actually connected this network yet. So, let's go up and connect that. Let's go and cap you, so I can actually hear myself again. I hope the volume is okay for you guys. Well, we're three hours into the stream, no, two and a half hours into the stream, and I'm, I'm only asking about the volume now. <laughs> uh, like what are we saying? Ron is saying, the most important thing is that we all love to play games on console, on PC, and the fun part is we meet each other here on this channel. I agree, I agree, definitely. Um, I'm actually really, really happy that you guys are watching. We have 15 viewers right now, and I think, I, I don't know how many we had at uh, the peak point, but I'm really pleased that you guys can be bothered watching me, really. <laughs> it's it's kind of nice. I like that. Thank you, all of you. All right, we want to go that way. And we want to go that way. And we also want to set up from here, going that way. <laughs> you muted the last hour. <laughs> and man, then your stream is the best. Yeah, I can imagine. Wow, don't say that, Ron. I'm actually starting to get paranoid that I am muted. <laughs> I'm checking everything now. Oh, shit, I'm muted. <laughs> right, here we go. So now we have connected all of this. Oh, no, we still need a couple of things. I'm sorry if you are bored mindlessly watching this. I'm bored mindlessly doing it. That's what she said. <laughs> you can just hear I have good experiences, huh? <laughs> That's why you're not muted now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So we just need one more um, connection point, and we are actually good. So this is the um, the tough part of it. This is this is the part of it that requires the most work but what it actually means for us in the future is that we can send our tractor from home to the field and then have course play take over once it's at the field and it'll do its job there so do we want to we want to drive in there i'm getting caught in wires oh shit oh hey wait there we go is that okay no it's not okay I think I might want to go up to this one here. That seems like a more legit connection to make. Yeah, that's fine. And we want to go from... Do we want... Do we want possibly this one? Yeah, that seems fine as well. And we also want a 
connect from back here. So we want to connect to that point up there, and we want to connect to that point over there. My god, I'm an idiot. There we go. Now, we are good to recalculate. Uh, main reason I'm a truck driver, nobody needs to listen to me. <laughs> I can imagine. Do you spend a lot of time talking with yourself then, while you're out there on the road? And if so, do you actually, can you agree with yourself? Right, uh, let's go to high assault. Wow. Oh shit, not again. What is this guy doing? You know what? Move on. Don't really care too much about the grain not being harvested there, that's fine. So yeah, it's working perfectly as you can see. <laughs> are you always talking with yourself or are you always agreeing with yourself? But yes, you can see it's working perfectly. No hiccup whatsoever. This, however, is working perfectly. Um, and when we get to uh, field 29, which is this one in there, when we start harvesting that, we're not going to be using the spiral version of, the, um, of, of course, play again. <laughs> Good to hear, Ron. <laughs> I think talking to yourself is important. I do it a lot as well. It's very important. You know, sometimes you just need someone sane that will listen to you. <laughs> oh boy. Right, this coffee is cold, but I paid it with my hard-earned money, so it's not going to be wasted. Mm. Don't drink cold coffee. Shit, that was bad. Holy shit. So can it actually make it to I Assault now? Well, this one can. Ish. I might need to redo that course. But so far it's going well. And we just have a tractor come in there. It's great. Right, let's uh, park the um, pickup. And let's set up another tractor to go to the uh, cell point. I'm flipping stuck in wires again. What's going on here? Right. We're going to take the Jandir for this one. I do like this. It's it turned out pretty well. I'm actually quite pleased with it. I'm really smart about it. Are we going to get hit by a tractor now? Nah, we'll, we'll be fine. Oh, that reminds me, we need to record a course going into the um, unload point. Oh, might as well use a tractor for that. You do this the whole stream, main reason I watch, I feel like home. It's good to hear. That's very good to hear. I enjoy that, actually. Right, let's set up a course for... We need a trailer. This is something that I experienced yesterday toying around with this. We need a trailer for this. We need to set up a, um, an unload point for emptying out the silo. But for that to work, we actually need the trailer to be underneath the unload point. At least that's what I experienced yesterday. I might be wrong. Occasionally, I am wrong. Right. So we're going to go over here. Let's 
So we're just going to position the trailer underneath the pipe. Whoa. Easy there, Tiger. There we go. And we're going to record a course here. And we're going to start out by setting a target point. And we're going to call this one Silo Hall. Uh, load. Because we got the unload point already. There we go. And then we're just going to record a exit course from here, because the entry course, we don't need the trailer. But I'm going to be a bit generous with the uh, turning with here. There we go. And connect this one up to... Oh, shit. That point. So this should ensure that we can go out from the silo hall load point so let's stop the recording there and let's just ditch the trailer and record an entry course to that point so i want that entry point to be wow did i actually hit the uh shuttle there i did it's a good job And we want to come from around here. Yeah, that's a good point. So start the recording. Could you um, go away, please? And let's go forward. That would be an advantage. Most of the time when we should go anywhere, we should go forwards. All right. Um... We should be able to just connect up to the point ahead of us. Now it's still too far ahead. Now? Can we connect now? There we go. Let's stop the recording. <laughs> and now we just need to connect the entry up here and we should be good I do want that one perfect should work just fine let's recalculate and while we're doing that let's pick up the uh, the trailer and let's avoid crashing into the hen house that would be a little bit silly don't want that extra repair costs. Because that's how advanced this game is. Okay. Now. If we have done this right. I should be able to go. I can't go from here back there. Okay. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, the man behind the microphone. Still wonder if his setup is still the same. Um, what are you thinking about? What setup? Right, let's set up a course here. So we want to be in the pickup and deliver. This is actually the mode that we want to be in. So we want to be in the pickup and deliver mode, and we want to go to silo hole low. We want wheat, and we want to transport wheat. Uh, so here to the grain mill on load. Now, if I wanted to do something else and weed, I can click over here. And you can see that I can choose, like, clover, for instance, if I wanted to take out clover. I don't have clover in that silo. I have weed. So this one should work just fine. Um, so let's see if it works. It should calculate the course back there. Mr. Lantis, just got here. Uh, do you have to add the different fields and tip triggers yourself? Or just a route between them. I just have to add the route between them. And as you can see, it's working out perfectly. There's absolutely no errors whatsoever. <laughs> no, I only have to... Um, the triggers are being added uh, in the map by the placeables and then the buildings. So you don't actually have to add those. But the, the route between them, you do have to add. There we go. He should be on his, his right way now. Oh, the home studio. Too. Oh, that has changed a lot from um, from the original setup I had. Um, 
The computer is new. The monitor setup is new. The microphone and my um, mixer board is the same. Uh, the headphones are the same. But other than that, I think pretty much everything has changed. But it's still the same flat. Um, I actually haven't moved anyway. I just moved stuff around. So now we should check that it has to un uh, has to load wheat. Pretty cool. So this is, by the way, auto drive doing all of it. I'm not doing a thing. It's just how I like it. That's me working as usual. <laughs> so I've been pretty generous with the uh, turning circle here, just to make sure that we don't crash into stuff. But it should be working out just fine. Uh, use math. A vehicle has a turning circle. Auto drive is based on math, so use math in your course. It's a good tip, actually. I saw the uh, creator of Auto Drive. Um, I saw him talk about how he had how he had programmed Auto Drive. And it was quite elaborate. It was... That's not a small task. Are we going to crash that sign? Oh no! Right, I'm just going to go into a quite far away distance here. Uh, yeah, he's, he definitely seems to know what he's doing. Um, I saw him commenting on some of the posts on the Courseplay GitHub. This guy knows what he's doing. It's pretty cool. So, AutoDrive is calculating the course. I'm not doing a thing here. Uh, it's calculating uh, the shortest course. You can set it to calculate the shortest or the fastest. Right now it's calculating the shortest. It's not necessarily the fastest. It's called logic. PC is math. Nothing more, nothing less. You're right. Um, I used to work as an IT supporter in, uh, in the Danish healthcare system. And um, logic is one of the few things that I really get around to doing really well, which is which is why I understand cosplay. <clears throat> excuse me. Which is probably why I understand cosplay as well as I, I do, and why I so easily pick up on these things. It's just logic, and, and that's the beauty about computing, isn't it? It's just logic. A logic uh, mind will will get you quite far in in computing. So auto drive is uh, taking care of everything. By the way, uh, have a look at the light right now. It's 20 past 8 in the evening in game. And um, still light. Right now, it's outside my window. I don't know if you guys can, can actually get a feel for that. But right now, it's 20 to 10 in the evening in Denmark. And it's still light outside. Sun is still out. Oh, it's just about setting, but it's beautiful. Oh, thanks, Ron. <laughs> so, it's just doing stuff on its own here. I'm not doing a thing. Auto drive is taking care of everything. Now, this will work. This will continue until your silo is empty or you stop it yourself. When the silo is empty, by the way, it will stop there. Let's say that um, you have enough in your silo to get 87% full load. It's not going to continue with 87%. It will stop and wait until... Uh, until it can get 100% load. So it's pretty neat. It is a pretty pretty logical system, as, as Ron was saying. It's, it's either on or off. Cosplay question. I have this issue that my game crashes from time to time, and when it crashes, basically everything continues, but the camera gets stuck in place, and I can't open the menu to save. Uh, Mr. Lances, have you looked at your log file? Um... Or is it happening? Oh, you're from Sweden. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, is it happening when you're creating a course on a field? If you're setting up a, a, a course on a field and you press generate course, does it happen there? Lee is asking, how does it cope with traffic turned on? Not well. And it didn't cope well with this cell point either. 
That was my mistake. I shouldn't have made a dual way uh, entry to the cell point. I should have made a one way entry. That was basically my mistake. I'm going to correct that. I'm not going to be bothering with it now. No. Um, oh my god. Would you not do that? So, as I was saying, is looking for the shortest path. Now, the shortest path, of course, would be to turn back from where it came, but I haven't given it the option to um, to do that. So I need to um, I need to redo this one. Uh, right. Let's see if it can find its way back here. Yeah. It picked up the course straight away. Now it's faster for it to go that way around than turning around, so it's just doing that. But Lee, to answer your question about the traffic, it's not really handling it that well. Um, it does the same as Cosplay was doing for a long, long time. It stops the traffic uh, when the traffic gets into the trigger, the um, into the vehicle trigger. That means that traffic going in front of it, because all of the tractors are going faster than the uh, AI traffic, all of the tractors will catch up to traffic in front of it eventually. And when it does, the traffic in front of it will stop because of the collision trigger on, on the tractor. And then the tractor can't go anywhere and the tractor will crash into uh, the parked vehicle. It's a nightmare. And it's really, really poor programming. If you ask me from Giants, Giants could have done this a lot better. Just saying. But no, my advice would be when you're using auto drive, and to some extent, cosplay as well, at least if you're taking cosplay onto the road, turn off traffic. It's just save yourself a lot of headache. It's not as realistic as we would want it to be, but it really will save you a lot of headache. Um, besides, this map is perfect for multiplayer. Now it's perfect for cosplay and auto drive as well. But if you use multiplayer, you'll probably get a better experience. Just saying. Yeah, Ron, that's a good advice actually. Um, I think I'll set up a, um, I'm not gonna be, I'm not, I'm not I don't want to be a, a supporter for, for you guys out there, but I think I will set up a, uh, what's it called? Google Drive. So, or you can mail me, um, Mr. Lantis, if you mail me a log file from your game, I'll, I, I can take a look at it and, and probably tell you what's going on. Uh, most likely it is a mod conflict and most likely it is cosplay taking a long, long, long time. Um, to calculate the course that that you're asking it to do um, My mail address by the way is uh, martin at datalone.com All right, well, we're done harvesting uh, that field. Can you believe it? We just spent an entire stream harvesting a field how great is that? Right. Auto drive is clearly working. Um, and it's clearly working with course play as well. We, um, we had a couple of hiccups. Um, the auto drive tractor was parked in traffic a couple of times. But in comparison to the headaches that we've had using course play for, for the karting course, this is 100% better. 200% better. Um, I'm, I'm well pleased with it. I'm not going to go back to using cosplay for the carding courses. This is fine. I'm just going to stop uh, this driver here. And as a last thing, I think for today, we're coming up to a three hour stream now. I hope you guys are okay with me uh, thinking about stubbing soon. But before we do that, uh, let's stop this driver and where is our tractor where is he
Has anyone seen a carding tractor? No, he seems to have left the scene of crime. Well, doesn't matter. Let's uh, get this puppy home. I don't know what's going on with our header trailer right now. That's weird. So weird. Alright, let's get the pipe in again, seeing as our carding tractor has decided to leave us. What the hell is going on? You guys saw that, didn't you? Uh, it generally happens after I tap into a tractor already on a course and it loops the same thing in the log over and over. Can look it up some other day though. Maybe you encountered it before? I haven't. Uh, not that particular error, I haven't encountered that. Most of all, it sounds like a mod conflict. Um, so I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure it might be a mod conflict actually. Hello? <laughs> right, <laughs> our card inspector is back. Yay! All right, dude, you're just gonna get a bit of weed here. Should be fine. There we go. And let's see if we can actually get this header on this trailer again. That was so weird, the trailer was jumping around out there. I hope that's not a map issue, I'm just getting paranoid now. So we're getting pretty close to sunset. Now I, I toyed around with the lighting on the map. Um, I know when season comes it's going to change it all, but for those that don't want to play season, it's still pretty flipping awesome. Now look at the time out there, it's 9 o'clock in the evening, it's still light. That actually corresponds really well with uh, how it is right now in Denmark, although it's 10 o'clock here and it's still light. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Me driving with keyboard, not well, not going well. <laughs> Heavy steering wheel. All right. Well, field 31 is done uh, harvesting. Now, I... I'm actually thinking about something here, and you guys will have to um, sort of do a public vote on this. Should we continue this as a live stream? Just go through, not only using. Well, we clearly stated that auto drive and course play is working very well um, together. But should we continue this playthrough just for passing time until season comes? Let me know in the chat. Uh, please state if you wanna if you wanna see more of this. We could continue on. Um, I mean, I could, I could uh, set up the uh, auto drive courses off cam, so we can, we don't have to actually look at that boring stuff anymore, and we can get into just doing a chilled farming stream. Uh, I'll be more than happy to stream it uh, if you guys want to watch it. Of course, uh, you don't have to watch it. You can just have the stream running in the background if you want. Uh, but let me know. Sure, we'd we'll like to see more of the map. My two cents. Thanks, Christopher. 
Mark is asking if I'm using any type of course editor. I'm not. Um, I saw that there was a course editor being made for 19. I haven't actually tried it out. But no, I'm not using a course editor. Um, I tend to tend to fuck up, delete the course, and try again. <laughs> that's that's my edit of the course. So. Just about done. Just got one last thing to do here. Well, should probably watch where I'm driving. Now that's the, the thing again, texting and driving at the same time. It's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for anyone, is it? <laughs> Speaking like a, um, I'm such a hypocrite because, I, okay, right. If the police ask, I will at any time deny this, but yes, I have read a text whilst driving as well. Mr. Lantis wants to see more and Christopher definitely wants to see more as well. Well, that does it for me. Let's uh, let's do this again. Um, I'll see if I can manage to record all of the courses uh, for Autodrive for tomorrow and we'll only have the course play courses to worry about then. Um, how does that sound? So I might be streaming again tomorrow. I'll let you know on my Twitter as soon as I know. So if you don't follow me on Twitter already, uh, go ahead and go for it. Stalk me on Twitter. Dataland. Two thumbs up for more from Mark as well. Thanks, Mark. Uh, right. Last thing. It's perfectly timed. Almost like I knew what I was doing. I didn't. So the time is 21.28 in game, 21.29 and there we go, 21.30 and the street light comes on and something that actually took me quite a long time <laughs> playing around with the light setting for the sun. It's just stupid, isn't it? Spending so much time on making sure that the sun is setting the right way and the sky is looking beautiful. But it makes a difference, doesn't it? Take a look at that. Let's turn off the engine so we can enjoy the peaceful summer evening. We got the moon up there as well. So, right. I think that will be it for, for right now. It's been a blast. Guys, you've been amazing. Seriously, holy shit. It's been really, really fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. And I'm sorry for the mundane uh, auto drive setup. I'll make sure that those are set up for next time. And I'll make sure to let you guys know when I'm doing this again. I think it will be tomorrow. So if you want to watch again, um, be sure to tune in. 21.56, yeah. It's... It's getting late. No, it's not. It's not really. Right. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, do uh, consider subscribing. I did it. You see what I did there, Ron? I shamelessly, shamelessly advertised myself again. But it would actually help out if you want to subscribe to the channel, if you like what you see. Um, anyway, I guess I'll see you again next time. And if I could figure out how the hell I end this stream... It would be brilliant, wouldn't it? But, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, I love you all <laughs> and all of that. Say hi to everyone from me. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. This has been... This is becoming awkward now because now I get a confirmation. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes, I am. Sure. Bye. Bye.